Dear colleagues, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a very hard cataract. Nuclear sclerosis is grade 5 or grade 6. The patient is a 97-year-old man with hard of hearing. I initially thought of doing SICS and then I thought, let me try FACO. If it appears very difficult, I will convert to SICS. So here I go, I may have made the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus at around 11 o'clock and on the left side of the main incision, 3 clock hours away, I make a side port. And now, an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and beneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. The dye is applied in such a way that it touches all parts of the anterior capsule. This is a bit of adrenaline and now the dye is washed out using a 23G Simco cannula. We get uniform anterior chamber all around if we wash out the dye. And now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber. And now is the time to do capsulorexis. I am using a uterata forceps, pierce the capsule at the center, go towards 3 o'clock, hold one side of the capsule and now go anticlockwise all around to get a large rexis. Size of this rexis is about 6 millimeter. And now hydrodissection is to be done. Little amounts of BSS is injected at multiple points. The nucleus is tapped gently and the nucleus is mobile. I inject visco and now is the time to introduce the feco needle. The exposed part of the feco needle is little more than in other routine cataracts where the nuclear sclerosis is grade 3 or grade 2. The main wound was small, the tip was it was difficult to introduce the tip, so I enlarge the main wound a bit. Five, no? 
So the heart nucleus has been managed, small bits and pieces of nucleus are still there and they are coming to the teeth after some time. Some cortex is there, so inject visco and then remove the cortex with Simco cannula. Most of the cortex has been removed. The side port is small. So I try to manage through the main port. I ask for the bimanual irrigation aspiration. There is conjunctival chemosis. So there is some radial cuts made on the conjunctiva so that the chemosis gets reduced. Now, bimanual irrigation aspiration is being used to remove the subincisional cortex. At this time, the main, uh, the anterior wall of the main wound is lit lifted up a bit so that leakage of fluid becomes minimal. Now this is hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens. The irrigating probe is used to dial the lens. In this case the clear management has been by stop and chop technique or rather divide and conquer technique because the pieces are also sculpted and s divided into fragments. So we have managed a case, a 97 year old man with very hard cataract and the patient is hard of hearing but the patient is can move around and 
can manage his own life. So, we are towards the end of the surgery, the side port is closed. And then our final lavage is done with the 27 gauze Simco cannula. The anterior chamber is nicely formed. Any visco anywhere under the lens is removed after forming the chamber nicely. The integrity of all the wounds are checked. I called this patient after 72 hours and these are the post-op pictures. There is very mild decimates membrane folds, corneal edema was probably there mild corneal edema, it has al almost resolved, intraocular pressure is normal, antechamber is quiet and the patient is happy. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.